My name is Marcela Enao Tamayo. I'm an assistant professor at Colorado State University and I'm also the co-director of the Flow Cytometry Core Facility. So currently in uh, my lab or our lab, what we do is immune response to tuberculosis infection. So we basically use the mouse model, sometimes also the guinea pig model, to understand how vaccines might elicit protection against infection with tuberculosis and mainly looking at uh, different types of immune cells. So we use multicolor flow cytometry for that. We have a lot of users in the core facility and types of works that we do at CSU include uh, cancer research, we have infectious diseases, uh, both viral as bacterial infectious diseases, we have prion diseases, and uh, a lot of vector-borne uh, acquired diseases as well. There are several reasons why I, I I would recommend an Aurora system and I have already recommended Aurora systems to other cores and other laboratories. They include first the fact that I believe spectral flow cytometry is the future of flow cytometry. Uh, also the capacity of course to use a lot of different fluorochromes that otherwise we wouldn't be able to use together in different systems. Uh, the beautiful resolution that they have uh, uh, in the way they display the final data. And very important, I think, for me and for everyone that wants to do research and have good results is the support that we get from the company. Like, you always feel you're important, you always feel they want to help you, and they go very well above and beyond of what you expect. Capacity of the Aurora system to actually be updated and upgraded, just adding new lasers, is a great feature that I think we are going to be using uh, in the near future because we always want to be able to do and look at as many markers, of course, as many fluorochromes in one single panel and in that way get as much information as we can from our experiments.